njroot22.com here with our weekly look at a couple of the area food markets. There's my promo, see you later. We're not gonna talk about Kings much these, uh, this week because we don't go there too often and they're expensive. Uh, here's their front page, front and center, red cherries, west, you know, west coast uh, grown. Something to keep uh, in mind, they're normally six bucks a pound. Uh, their big sale is a dollar off, five dollars a pound. Note that, and then also they got Hebrew National Franks, which are popular. Normally six nineteen a pack. They have buy one get one free, so that's a little over three dollars a pack. Uh, that's something to keep in mind. Uh, there's nothing else I saw worthwhile, so we'll move along now. I'll reference them in a minute, right away here actually. Northwest grown cherries, two dollars a pound at Bishop's uh, in White House. It's just unreal. I mean, I don't know why people don't see that. Also, uh, they got sabrettes on a good deal this week. And like I said, we shop here periodically because they're local. We don't want them going away. Three bucks for sabrettes. I, I rediscovered sabrettes the other day, and uh, man, they're tasty. God knows what they put in them. And here's another thing I, I don't, these are really popular. I still haven't tried them yet. Uh, I'm not sure what to do with that. And also, turkey. I think turkey's days, like that was from the 80s. You shouldn't be eating anything turkey franks or turkey this. So turkey should be eaten like once a year. Or maybe a turkey sandwich if you're like in a bind. Um, so that's my thoughts on that. And there's all junk in here. I still haven't tried the IGA. Maybe I'll try the IGA mayonnaise. I have a feeling they just rebrand them the same way uh, Aldi, the Aldi supermarkets do. They're probably just as good and cheaper. I'll get to the bottom of the, of the IGA brand one of these days. It could be really bad. Who knows? And that's it for this week's Bishops. And we're going to go to the plain old shop right this week. There's no Ole Ole summer sales. Just summer plain old ad this week. So what caught my eye? Uh, avocados, they're still in, uh, in favor here. And the cucumbers and peppers are all uh, really cheap these days. Uh, I marked off, so that's how I do these uh, flyers now. Burger season, they have a really crappy selection of burgers uh, featured this week at uh, ShopRite. I don't like this Nature's Reserve. It's Australian meat. I don't trust it. It's too far away. We had these Brooklyn beef burgers. They're normally like 11 bucks a box. They're on sale this week for $6.99. I had them and they weren't so great. Maybe they have to be over a fire uh, grill. We have this kind of indirect heating grill. It's like an outdoor oven, which I love. It's a Holland grill. Um, but they were okay. They were, there were nothing, nothing to write home about. We, I eat my burgers just plain and I don't, uh, have a bun, so I, I didn't taste anything uh, profoundly great about them. And here we go again. Hebrew National at ShopRite is $1.99 with a coupon. That's a dollar less per pack, and you don't need to buy two. So there you go. Kings get busted again for being more expensive even when, it, even when it's on sale. And there's turkey again. Turkey meatballs. No, no. Meatballs are ground meat. Not uh, beef, not uh, not turkey. Turkey's, we gotta get off that. And here's another one, turkey bacon. I've, I've had this, it's cheap as dirt, and it's disgusting. It tastes like I'm eating, uh, I don't know, like nothing, it tastes like nothing. And here we go again, this is interesting, I just saw this was funny. Save 25% on participating planters nuts. And the, the nuts are, are in, like, they're, they're just in, inert, like they don't, they don't have a, a decision-making capability. They're not choosing to participate. It should be um, on participate, uh, not on participate, but on applicable uh, nuts or whatever. And here's an, another thing I'm a little concerned about. May Heinz has a new uh, mayonnaise out, and I, I don't really trust a company that peddles sugar the way Heinz does. So I bet you there's something something going on with that. I, I, don't, I wouldn't touch it. Uh, by the way, we tried making our own mayonnaise. And God, it's it's not very easy. I mean, they say it is, but I, I didn't like the way it came out. Keep in mind, it's raw egg. So you have to get uh, pasteurized eggs. They sell it one one of the sh uh, Clinton, I know, is it? I forget, Washington uh, ShopRite had this, these uh, pasteurized eggs. But there is a, a brand of mayonnaise that we're gonna open up 
this week. It's called Sir Ken Kensington's. And they seem to have a decent, it's expensive, it's like four bucks for a small jar. Um, but they use uh, sunflower oil instead of soybean oil. If, if you men out there want to get off the soybean nonsense, um, you do that. So what else here? Something I discovered, these uh, Nosh organic baby foods. Nosh, see Nosh. Made in China. I mean, I don't care if it's organic. It's made in China. You don't want it. That's say no to the nosh. I mean, they're doing everything in China these days. But what can you do? Here's another one that I think anybody watching this see that right there, Red Bull. Don't drink it. Don't drink the sugar-free one. Don't drink. It's like ridiculously expensive. It's filled with chemicals and it tastes like crap. Why do you want it? I mean, like. It, it's it they addict you you like it for some reason you can't explain rationally other than it's a physical chemical addiction look they're giving away water so you can wash it down my god never that stuff is disgusting if you live on it and you drink three or four a day try try and cut cut it out and see what happens to you you won't feel right that should be sign enough for you not to drink drink that crap anymore great car they got baby stuff Hit back to school. This whole section here is back to school. It's freaking July, man. Let, let, let's. Why talk about it so soon? Back to school again. Here. Back to school. Everything is pumped like months ahead of time. You never know what time it is. If I woke up from a coma, I'm like, wait, is it September? No, it's July. <sighs> anyway, I think that's it for this week's ShopRite. Uh, ShopRite. Oh, yeah, they got these Galbani mozzarella logs. They're five bucks. Wait, they go on sale for like $1.99 sometimes. Don't buy them this week. There is a cheaper one here, this the, the Bell uh, Gioso um, mozzarella logs for $3.99 if you're really in the mood for non-Italian deli fresh mutz. And they also have these Black Bear Franks, the natural casings. Uh, I heard they're pretty good. I'm gonna try them one day. We're, we're on a big hot dog kick, you know, and also, ShopRite has the, ch the cherries from the Northwest for $1.99. Blows Kings away. And that's it, guys. That's all. Seven and a half minutes of, of just rambling about things on the supermarket.